Hey guys, welcome to Samco Workshop. Today we're gonna to be talking about a track in the Forerunner. Okay, what is a track in the Forerunner? Well, a track is this button right here. Okay, a track. What does this button do for us? Okay, that's what we're wondering. This a track button. Well, right now it does nothing. Okay, I can push that all day. Keep pushing it. Look at my dash. Okay, it does absolutely nothing. What a track is? is an older version of MTS, which is what we have here. Sorry, it's getting kind of dark out in here. My wife's in, we're in public. She's inside grabbing a couple things and I thought I'd do this video. But this is, uh, this is your MTS system, okay? Multi-terrain select system is what MTS stands for. And I'm actually gonna put a, I'm gonna pause this for a second. All right, there, I got a flashlight now. We can see that better, but that is your MTS system right there multi-terrain select system there is your a track button right there so you got a track and mts and now they are both very similar over here this one is crawl control okay completely different system but this is a trd off-road so i have with the trd off-road and the trd pro i have multi-terrain select this one here okay and i also have the rear locker which is this button right there i have a rear locker um, but now, uh, most of your, any of your four-wheel drive, um, four-wheel drive, four, uh, four-runners are going to have the A-Track button. You may not have the locking rear diff, and you may not have the multi-terrain select. What is A-Track, and what does it do for you? Well, to answer that, what we got to do is we got to understand um, how vehicles work, all right? How the differential setups work in them, okay? Every vehicle has to have what's called open differentials in order for you to be able to drive down paved roads for the normal everyday driving, to be able to turn into this parking spot that I'm actually sitting in, okay? To pull into this little parking spot where I'm sitting, I had to have open differentials. It means that the wheels can turn independently of each other, and uh, have that function. Otherwise, you'd be skidding. You'd be a skid steer like a bobcat, and you can't move that way. So, the multi or the uh, what happens there with open differentials is when you're in the off road, when you're in the woods, um, in the dirt, and you get stuck. Uh, say, for example, if you're in two wheel drive mode, even if you're, let me even make that simpler. In two wheel drive, most vehicles with open differentials are really only one wheel drive. Okay, you have one wheel that has the power, and then if that what whatever wheel that is, if it starts to slip, it continues to get the power because it thinks the other one is dragging around. So, um, two wheel drive is really one wheel drive. Only one rear wheel is spinning, or front wheel if it's a front wheel drive car, and the Ford Runner it's rear wheel drive. If you put it in four wheel drive, it's really only two wheel drive. You have one of the back wheels spinning with power, one of the front wheels spinning with power. Whichever one can break free. So if you're say you're in, a, in soft sand, mud, snow, and one of the wheels starts to uh, starts to go free, then what's going to happen is um, if it starts to spin, all of the power basically goes to that wheel in an open differential system. It's just the way they work. So if you're driving and you're in the sand, all of a sudden one wheel starts to slip, slip, slip. You feel yourself bouncing. That's the only wheel that's going to get traction. The other wheel is not getting any. So in a four-wheel drive setup, you only have two wheels that get power. Well, when you get into four low, when you put into four low, it changes none of that. From going from four high to four low is just a gearing change. Four low means you get a lower ratio of gears. So it's going to not drive as fast, have way more power, rev up quicker, but work better for slower, controlled, uh, you know, off-road kind of things that you're going to do. But when you go into four low, you have the option of hitting the a track button right here when you're in four low it does not work now you have to be in four low but when you're in four low you can hit a track it will come on on the dash and what a track is going to do is it's going to let you then when you start to drive whatever wheel slips in that sand snow or mud <coughs> whatever you're in where you're stuck at when you when that one wheel say your your right rear wheel starts to spin instead of like an open differentials where it just keeps letting it spin a track will send will apply the send a message to there and it will apply the brakes for that wheel so that it slows the spinning and sends that power to the other wheel to let that wheel pull you out okay and it does the same thing in the front if your front right wheel is spinning a track will hit the brakes on that wheel to slow that down to transfer power to the one that's not spinning and see if it can get traction okay that's the whole concept of it so a track is a a 
computerized system that is going attraction control is what it is okay automatic traction control that's what a track stands for automatic traction um and it is going to help you in those off-road situations gain a little bit of uh more traction by letting the wheels that are slipping stop and trying to transfer the the power to the wheels that are not slipping to help move you out of that now, when you get into a TRD, and, and again, that's a track has been around for a long time in the Forerunners, and it is a beautiful, beautiful system. But then when they came out with Multi Terrain Select, this one here, Multi Terrain Select, it's a much more advanced version of a track. Okay, same concept, does basically the same exact thing, but it's a much different kind of design to it because. Um, multi-terrain select will let you pick you can turn it on sorry let me set this light where it's going to just shine there there we go but you can turn it on and then that's actually not helping us any is it i'm just we're going to let the camera just find it hang on sorry getting kind of dark out in there let's see here all right we're going to do that so multi-terrain select will let you turn it on and then you can control they will light up once that's on see it lights up okay and right now, it's it, you know it's telling me I got to shift it into neutral. It's telling me it can't do anything with this. But there's my little multi-terrain select dude down there, K. Okay. But so and then I can turn it between. See, it still won't because I'm not in neutral and I'm not set up for for low you know setup. But uh, but basically you can change it so that it can be for desert type settings and sand. Um, I'm assuming that one is uh, snow. That one is moguls, and that one is rock crawling. So what these do is these are going to change your... Um, actually, I want to leave that on. Uh, let's go here. I want that one there. Um, but what it's going to do is it's going to tell the wheels. Each of these are a different automated algorithm program that is going to... Like when you're in soft sand... You it may want you to it may let you slip a lot more. Okay, it's going to let you get more wheel slippage before it puts the brakes on that wheel that is slipping and transfers over to the other one. Because sometimes you just want to give it a lot of gas and try and grind your way out. But if you're over here and you're you're rock crawling and trying to get over boulders, you don't want that. But you need that that um, a track system to bite quickly you need it to um in rocks and your rock crawling you can't let one wheel spin two or three revolutions before the other one grabs or you're not going to go anywhere because you're on rock so you need almost immediately to sense the slightest wheel slippage and transfer the power to the one that's not slipping because of the situation you're in so that is what all those control these different mtm or mts multi-terrain select modes do is let you basically take your a track that is right here and it just takes it to a much more advanced level for different in situations based on the algorithms and the type of conditions you're in so that you get the maximum out of a track that's the difference um and again the difference being that if being a trd um off-road i also have the rear locker right there too which is a nice thing also but a track is in all of them all the four-wheel drive forerunners and it's a it's a gold mine it's a beautiful system but really it's only going to help you when you're in four low and you're really stuck or you're about to go through some nasty snow you're going to be driving on the beach um you know these kind of conditions it's good to turn that on especially on a beach um it's a fantastic option it's also a great one when you're launching a boat if you're at the boat ramp and uh, it's always good to put the vehicle in four-wheel drive but uh you know if you got a real sketchy ramp that's really slimy and moss covered and things like that it's wet and raining and you're worried about that kind of thing shouldn't do it anyway then but i mean if you're gonna put it in four low um and then turn on a track and that will help you there too because again if you start pulling that boat out and you start slipping if that wheel slips and you don't have a track on it's to, you only got two wheel drive even in four-wheel drive without a track once that a track senses that wheel slippage it will hit the brakes on that one to slow that down and transfer a lot more power to another wheel that may not be slipping and it might be able to pull you out so that's what a track is all about hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon